seat and welcome back. So, before we jump right into the battles for this turn, I just wanted to point out that the Scipii are really, really appear to be gearing up for war here. They've got just over half a stack there. Oh, not them. <laughs> just about a full stack there, and actually if they combine it with this little stack here, that actually would be a full stack. They nearly have a full stack here. They have even more troops that are kind of waiting by the coastline here, so I assume that they're waiting maybe to be ferried by ships. And if so, it looks like the Scipii might really be gearing up to take on Numidia, which again would be nice, as I think I've said in the past. Gaul still has these tiny little forces. There's the Spanish force that we defeated last time. Nothing really too much of interest has really happened here. I do have Samaro Briva under siege now, but we have to wait a turn for battering rams and such. So here is where we're at. We need to fight two battles, or possibly two. I'm basically going to take this force here and try and finish off this Briton general and whatever other unit he had there. I think it was Head Hurlers. That should be short and sweet, and as should this battle here, taking Batavadorum with our force here, because we should now have battering rams. So let's just get right into it and see if we can trap this guy. And it would appear that the answer is no. <laughs> so, I guess we'll move right on to Batavadorum then, and do that attack instead. All right, and the battle begins. So, I didn't select for it to be a night battle, and interestingly enough, it wasn't a night battle at first. It was during the day, and it was snowing. So I hit wait to see if the weather would clear, and it did clear, but it also made it night. Which I didn't think was something that could happen. Um, I don't think my general has the night fighter ability. Maybe theirs does? Wait. Do they have a general here? No, no, I don't think they do, because they'd be chariots. So this is a captain. Okay, uh, apparently he's not in that unit. Maybe he's in this unit? Yeah, there he is. The guy with the torch there is the captain. So he definitely doesn't have a night fighter trait, so... I'm not sure how exactly they're doing this, and I just realized I forgot to bring my archers forward, so let's do that now. Then I guess we might as well have the dogs come forward as well. Our soldiers are at the gates! Now they must batter our way through! Our soldiers are at the walls! Now they must batter our way through! Bring up those hoplites there. Okay, so anyway. Yeah, it looks like we've just got a couple of units of warbands. Literally, two units of warbands. So this shouldn't be a problem. And, um... I guess I'll bring you guys back, because not much is going to happen for a few minutes, since it looks like they're not even going to obligingly come to the gates to be shot. Alright, so we've got a couple of hoplite units here, the war dogs behind them, so let's go ahead and unleash the hounds. We'll have the general just kind of come up here. I don't know exactly where the trainers are going to release them. Soon, I hope. Oh, yep, there we, there we go. Alright, back you come. In fact, um, come all the way back here, why don't you? Soon you'll be eaten. I love the War Dogs. To be honest, they they could be one of my favorite units just because of how interesting and unique they are. All right, let's bring up the. I guess we can bring up the archers. Let's have the hoplites move forward. Right about there should be good. 
And then let's make sure the war dogs continue to come back because I see some of them are not 100%. Oh, you actually can walk through that. Well, what do you know? I'll bring that other group of mercenaries then, just because, why not? Oh, shoot! I forgot to tell the archers not to fire at will. Oops, and all that. Oh, and the captain has been eaten. Very unfortunate for him, of course. Okay, we almost have our hoplites in place. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and tell you to get into phalanx, and then we'll just have... line up just a little bit further like that. Now, archers, can you actually hit the very back units? And the answer is yes. That way they should fire over the heads of the hoplites. And even over the heads of the dogs, too, though it looks like an occasional arrow is going to land with the dogs. That's a little unfortunate. Oh, it's because the warband is also moving forward, so I guess we'll just tell them to stop. Wow, they're passing right through the war dogs. Wow, did I kill a bunch of the war dogs with the arrows, or did they just manage to kill off a lot of the war dogs? Because this black cloud is not quite as big as I think it used to be. Yeah, I bet you some of these dogs are probably killed by the archers, so, you know, oops and all that. I'm sure it's fine. My dogs are better than your dogs. Or so it would seem. I was going to make another joke about how these highly paid, highly trained mercenaries basically just sit back and watch the war dogs do all the fighting. But then there were a couple of battles a little bit ago where, um... Actually, was it this army or was it the other army? I can't remember. Where the hoplites, um, lost a few men. Actually, I think it was the other army, now that I think about it. So these hoplites at least haven't done too much fighting, though they must have done some because there's casualties there. Not many. All right, it looks like we are just about finished here. The last survivor. This is a heroic victory worthy of Roman arms. And teeth, Roman teeth too. All right, no casualties at all, and we've taken it away from them. So let's get back to the... Oh, Captain Mariadoc again. Well, actually, the last time it was a... Wait, was it a, a, a Gallic general or was it a Briton general? There was a general we fought whose name was Mary, or maybe it was Mariadoc. It was Mariadoc, I think. And now we have a captain, too. Oh, well, anyway, like I said, back to the campaign map. This land is Roman! Indeed, the land is Roman, and I think we're just going to go ahead and occupy again. This is actually working out pretty well. No one wants to fight. Well, I mean, once we've uh, taken over the settlement, I guess no one wants to fight. All right, but anyway, um, I think that was it for now. So once again, I will bring you guys back as more of interest occurs. All right, and welcome back once again. So, uh, this army here just lost its general to my assassin. Not that that's an immediate help, but I thought it was nice to point out. So that way when we fight that army, hopefully they won't have one. I'm afraid my other assassin was not able to take out the other general. Very unfortunate. But 
Oh well, we'll get to him when the time comes. So now we have a couple of battles to fight. This time we are within range, and hopefully we'll be able to take out Magna Cunis of Gleva. This guy here, whatever his name is. This little force here has wandered within range of my army, so I might try and take them out. The reason there's an extra general, by the way, here is because I had two uh, new generals come of age. One over here, and one back here in Italy. Oh wait, where is he? Oh, I already sent him on his way. He's over here. I was like, wait, what did I do with him? Where is he? He's gonna come over here and uh, start placing down, like, watchtowers and stuff. And actually, this guy probably will too, once um, it's a little safer, because I don't want him wandering around on his own when there's clearly still Britain forces around here, and I don't want them to catch him on his own. So anyway, fight here. Try and get a fight here as well, and we're also going to take Samaro Briva away from the Britons. So, let's just jump right into it. Let's try and see if we can catch this guy first. Oh, and it looks like we're going to have a bit of a bridge fight. That should be interesting. Yeah, he does have just have head hurlers and then his own bodyguard. So, let's go ahead and take him out. Alright, and welcome to the battle. So, as expected, it takes place on a bridge. I assume they're not actually going to try and cross... They're just going to kind of hold the bridge here, which is probably wise of them. Uh, to be honest, this is uh, probably going to cost us a few number of men, because I don't have archers. I don't have war dogs. I mean, I have dogs of a kind, but um, they're less reliable than the dogs that I normally use. So anyway, what we are going to do is we are going to send them forward. Might as well throw in the Expendables first. Alright, we'll have you guys kind of line up behind them. Just because um, I remember last time having too many men on the bridge at once causes them to fall off the side. So I think we'll just we'll send them across kind of one unit at a time. Should be fine, I think. We'll have the general come forward just to give the, do uh, the mercenaries a bit of uh, encouragement. Oh, well, that was surprising. I actually thought the head hurlers would throw the their heads. But it looks like they didn't. Oh, and here comes the chariots. All right, let's get in the next unit. Gee, that doesn't look too good, to be honest. Alright, let's see if we can keep the chariots occupied. That would be ideal, rather than letting them, like, kind of get away from us. I think this is not ideal fighting for the chariots, because I think they're supposed to be more of an open field battle sort of unit. And bunching them up like at a bridge like this is actually a bad idea. But the general is dead, so any of these chariots that we don't destroy are done for anyways. We do have the head hurlers, though. Right, let's see if we can get the general across here really quick just to take them out. It's probably not a big deal, to be honest. They'll probably just die anyways, but let's just make sure of them since we have the, uh, we have cavalry for it anyways. I guess I might as well have you guys just kind of stand out of the way here. Yes, good work, good work. You have saved many Roman lives today by sacrificing your own. All right, anyway. Let us watch their demise. I must say, I really like what they've done with some of these units. Like, especially some of these barbarian units where they have lots of, like, war paint and stuff on them. 
Of course, some of that is the blood textures from the, uh, I think it's Swagger's Blood mod, I think it's called. Ah, I think these guys are going to get away, though. They are, because I think, yep, I'm at the line right now. Oh, they're not going to make it. By they, I mean, my oh, no, maybe they will. Maybe they will. Place your bets. Place your bets now. Oh, they're going to get away. Dang it. To be honest, it wasn't even really close, was it? What? 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 I swore for a minute there they were going to turn right around and march right back onto that battlefield. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was actually going to, like, wait a minute, this isn't supposed to happen, and, and it didn't, but I was surprising for a moment there. All right, well, no Roman lives were lost, so zero casualties that we care about, so let's get right back to the campaign map. No! <laughs> Those five guys got away! Uh, dang it! I knew if I just let those five get away, they would get away. Alright, fine, whatever, I don't care. We'll, uh... We'll have him... Since he's gonna be placing watchtowers and stuff in this area anyway, and there's only five of them, so he can take them out with his bodyguard. It's fine, probably. Alright, but anyway, um, let's throw down a quick save just in case something goes wrong and then let's see if we can do a fight here as well oh also um i assume they'll be very unhappy when i leave yeah they will be but i think i, I can make it back to the town that should be fine uh hmm eh, i think i can still make it back all right, so let's get back down to the battle map. All right, and welcome to the battle. And I see they are going to approach us, so let's just lower spears. All right, now we need to take out these head hurlers. They're their only ranged unit, and I believe they're actually a pretty damaging ranged unit, too. Okay, one of these units is within range. I guess we'll just tell the others to fire at will until the head hurlers get within range. <laughs> Boy, that's morbid. Especially in, like, the, the higher definition graphics of this game. Man, those heads look... The, those look like human heads, all right. And they even have them like like a pale white. Like they just kind of like killed them just a little bit ago. Oh, apparently they're out of range now, so we'll just have that unit fire at will as well. Though I don't know, this could be a problem. If I have all of my archers waste well not waste, but use up their ammo on like the warbands and not the head hurlers, we won't have any when we go charging forward. Oh wait, there's two units of head hurlers. I didn't even realize that. I really should pay closer attention to the enemy's uh, composition before the battle. All right, what we're going to try and do here is we're going to move forward. And hopefully get the head hurlers within range of the archers. I don't know what their range is. I can't really remember, to be honest. But I don't think it's as good as my archers, so that should be fine. Alright, the archers are ready. Okay, excellent. So we'll have them all target this unit here. And stray shots will probably hit the unit behind them. At least to some degree. You know what, maybe I should actually have one of the units fire at the back unit. Okay, 
what what is this what is this why are you doing this why why is turning the unit slightly to the right or to the left like effective when you're under fire Okay, well, anyway, we've been over that before, so um, I guess we're just going to go ahead and let the archers use up all their ammunition, and I'll bring you guys back once they're either out of ammo or if these guys actually charge forward and attack. All right, so welcome back. And speaking of back, the Britain line has actually moved back a couple of times, and they actually moved out of range of my archers. I haven't used up all the ammo. It's only about half, actually. It's almost like they're getting smarter and realizing they shouldn't just stand within range the whole time. Of course, we are just going to move forward a little more. Whoops. Did we get everyone? Yes, we did. Let's see if we can bring them back within range. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I think I just hit the wrong key there. I definitely hit a wrong key there. Alright, get back in formation! <laughs> Quickly, because the enemy seems to have gone- Oh! The Roman lines are all over the place! Quick, go get them! Alright, well, what I'm going to do then is let's send in the war dogs as kind of backup here. They'll help the Astati. As you can see, the dogs will pass right through the lines there and go get them. Alright, so who's not routing, though? This unit of heavy swordsmen and those head hurlers back there. But they aren't actually retreating. Like, they're not withdrawing. It's almost like they want to continue fighting. Alright, well, let's bring the cavalry forward to support the war dogs. So what I imagine will happen is, is these guys are going to keep routing, of course, with the war dogs right on their heels, but they're going to run into those units there. Oh! They turned around to fight! Well, alright then. I don't think they'll stand for too long, though, because they were just routing a minute ago, so... I already hear someone starting to route, and yep, it looks like one of the units, two of the units. Oh, there they all go. All right. Cavalry! Oh. Oh! I didn't even notice you were there. Like a flood, they just washed away all of the Britons. All right, who's left though? Oh, that guy there. Be amazed at such a victory. The day is ours. And not a single one of them escaped. All right, excellent. So let's just get right back to the campaign map then. 
And much to my annoyance, the army cannot make it back. Ah, uh, but we can send the cavalry back, so we'll do that. And see, they're much happier now. And then we'll just retreat the infantry to here. Well, and the uh, war dogs, who apparently have the same range as infantry anyways. Actually, let's see. The Equites are labeled as light cavalry, and the war dogs are simply labeled as light. Which I think... Oh no, the Hastati are labeled as light infantry. Hmm, interesting. I guess the war dogs are neither infantry nor cavalry, which I guess in a way kind of makes sense. All right, but anyway, we still have one more battle to fight. We need to take Samaro Briva, which I'm now going to pay attention. They have slingers, two units of swordsmen, a warband, and a general. So let's get right in and fight it out. Oh, um, I was actually going to save. I should probably do that. I'm trying to make it so that I always save after a battle. Oh, and this could actually be a night battle, so let's do that. And in we go. All right, and welcome to the battle. Looks like we've got swordsman unit there. Oh, there's the slingers. You guys kind of run forward to get... In actually, let's have you line up a little further back. And don't fire at will. I'm actually going to want you to fire at the archers. Or the slingers, rather. Alright, the Roman archers are not within range, though, so I guess I'll have you guys fire at whatever you want to fire at. Right, it looks like the slingers aren't going to fire, though I wonder, are slingers able to arc their shots? I actually can't remember how it works for them. Like, I don't think they need, like, direct line of fire, but maybe they do. Still very convenient of them to literally sit here and just wait f while we shoot them to death. Chariots should be no trouble for the hoplites. Um, they definitely have a lot more infantry than they normally do, and a couple of them are swordsmen. So we're going to definitely need to back up the hoplites with, well, with war dogs as usual, but also probably with some of our Roman infantry, just to kind of make sure that we keep their casualties lowish. Or to back them up if it's just, uh, looks like it, uh, might go badly for them. Yeah, the slingers have s moved out of range and have stopped all the way up there. The enemy gate is down! Our battering ram has done its work! All right, that'll be down in a moment. I guess we can have... We can all fire at will now. Oh, wait. No, no. They're coming back. They're coming back. There we go. Fire right at them. Oh, dang it. We actually lost a hoplite. To friendly fire, almost certainly. Um, let's have you guys... Actually, that probably puts them even more within range. Here, back up here. All right, all you hoplites get over here. Everyone else fire at will. Actually, wait. Stop firing, actually. Because we need a unit to unleash the war dogs on. And if they kind of stick around, that would be them. Quickly! 
to have the general kind of get up here too. And again, since we are probably, well, maybe going to need extra infantry, we'll bring them forward as well. Okay, war dogs attack. And they'll go ahead and chase them down. All right, then we'll have the trainers get over here. Just kind of stay right by the general. All right, maybe we can get in a couple of good shots on them. And the Roman archers still can't hit anything. Oh, well, I guess it's fine. Now, are they even a ranged unit? They're, they're actually running right up to the war dogs to be eaten. Okay, um, archers stop firing before you kill too many of the war dogs. All right, so now the general is either going to retreat or he's gonna run into the war dogs. I guess we'll have to wait and see which he does. I think uh, the war dogs will probably take a few casualties here, um, but let's check on the trainers again. Oh, they killed the general, how nice. The enemy general is killed. Okay, it looks like the trainers have not started running in. That's great. Oh, dear. Holy crap. Where are they all going? Oh, crap. They're actually injuring the general. Right. Dogs over here. Right. There we go. That should take out most of them right there. I think that's the last one. Okay, great. Or wait, is that not the last one? Oh, no, no, there's another one right up there. And it says that there's two in the unit, and I think there's two guys. Yeah, there's two guys there. So that's the last chariot right there. But wow, I did not expect them to come running out of the settlement like that. I guess I really should have uh, put my uh, hoplites in formation and uh, made sure they were guarding like the exits. All right, but anyway, get out of Phalanx Formation and get in here. Oh, looks like the War Dogs are already in there, so that's grand. And we'll have the Archers here, and we'll have the General kind of over here. Our soldiers have captured the walls! Now is the time to press on and capture this place! All right, it looks like we didn't need the backup infantry after all, though. In fact, I wonder if the War Dogs will be able to just kind of finish these guys off on their own. Oh, that's the... Apparently the blacksmith is still at work, still smithing, even while there's a battle going on outside. The man is dedicated to his craft, make no mistake. All right, well, I don't think we lost too many hoplites. I can't remember how many hoplites this unit had. We might have lost a few of them. We definitely lost a few war dogs. Still, casualties weren't severe despite the chariot getting out there. The hoplites were able to intercept them pretty quickly.
I don't know. I don't think we're really going to need any more, to be honest. I think the war dogs have got this. All right, welcome back. It looks like the last few defenders are about to go down. And there he goes. Generals, and this day is clearly our victory. All right, really quickly. Actually, not there. This. Okay, we lost a few from the general's bodyguard. We only lost a couple of war dogs there. One of the mercenary hoplites, which I think um, that's the guy we shot in the back, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so they didn't really take any casualties from the chariots or anything. They managed to mop them up pretty quickly. But anyway, let's go right back to the campaign map. All right, so... Occupation has begun. Um, let's actually see if we can just immediately have them move on by having the mercenaries take their place. Okay, answer yes, but just barely. Oh, I guess we can give that mercenary band a little extra uh, weapon skill. So let's have some militia, though, take over here, or at least soon. And we will have the general move on. Oh, actually, we can get one more unit of barbarians here who can also follow us. Send him back here for now. There we go. All right, and then we'll have you join up again. And we can be at Condate Redonum next turn. Though we'll still have to besiege it, of course, so... Oh, well, would you look at that? They actually have some missile chariots. That's interesting. I believe the other units are probably the ones that actually took the settlement. I think that's even the correct number. So it looks like they retrained them, because I know they took some casualties, even if they weren't defeated. But anyway, uh, that should be it for now, guys, so I will bring you back as more of interest occurs.